morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the euro dollar pair and recent events during the market. Greg? The last session saw the euro drop 0.4% against the dollar. The ROC is giving a positive signal. The dollar dipped a slight 0.1% against the yen in the last session. The CCI is giving a negative signal, going against our overall technical analysis. The last session saw the gold drop 0.5% against the dollar. The MACD is giving a negative signal. Volkswagen's shares made a minor downwards correction in the last session, falling 0.3%. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's hear from our news department. The dollar and sterling were buoyant after a surprise rebound in business activity in the United States and the UK raised the likelihood that their respective central banks would have further to go in raising interest rates. Global equity markets fell while US Treasury yields hit new highs as investors weighed the prospects of a longer-than-anticipated stiff monetary policy stance by the Federal Reserve following continued strong economic data. Rio Tinto more than halved its dividend after posting a 38% drop in annual profit, hurt by weaker iron ore prices as demand from China slowed, higher labor and material costs. Thank you for this. Now coming up, today's major economic events. The U.S. gross domestic product annualized will be released at 1330 GMT. The U.S. Chicago Fed National Activity Index at 1330 GMT. The Austrian HICP at 0800 hours GMT. The Eurozone's Harmonized Index of Consumer Prices will be released at 1000 hours GMT. Japan's National Consumer Price Index at 2330 GMT. Japan's Foreign Bond Investment at 2350 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.